So Monique and her husband, Sydney, are battling it out with DJ Vlad, okay? So I listened to both perspectives, guys, and let me tell you, this is a mess. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm going to give my opinion because just like Monique said, you know, all of us social media people who are talking about things on the internet, we have opinions and everybody has one just like an asshole, right? And, um, but that's what keeps some celebrities <laughs> in the news, in the hot topics. Um, yeah, so bloggers, you know, they're listening to you. So, you know, I don't know why Monique is uh, feeling to feeling like she needs to uh, express that type of thought. But hey, that's her. I guess it's because of the the heat that she got when it came to her and her son being on the internet. You know, of course, it's going to be beefing on the internet, on social media. People, bloggers, YouTubers, social media um, content creators are going to pick up on it, right? And that's their job, is to give us the hot news, hot topics, and their opinions about it. But here, over here, I'm going to give you the both sides of it and you know you make your own decisions about who's right and who's wrong I'm not here to um, defame anyone it's not intended to harm I'm just sharing um, both sides so Monique and her husband Sydney is saying that Vlad TV um, is constantly since 2010 speaking on her husband Sydney Sydney said this out of his own mouth to let you guys hear that and saying that Vlad has been inviting people on the show talking about her and, and him calling Sydney a bitch you know and just saying all kinds of you know slurs towards him right um, but Vlad says that Monique and her husband tried to extort him Okay, and what he does before he has his interviewers, celebrity interviewees come on, he gives them all a release form, uh, you know, just letting the people know that he these are the requirements for coming on this show, being interviewed. But Monique and her husband is like, uh-uh, something ain't right about this this release. Okay, they not they not cool with it because I guess in some way. The release is saying that um, he has the right to use or their picture or their audio maybe. Now, I'm just saying this because this is an opinion. Um, allegedly, it's saying that he may be using or whoever has access to their images, maybe chopping it up and repurposing it, guys, because we know this happens all the time on social media. People can chop up your video and repurpose it on their, you know, video, right? For content. But Monique and her husband, Sydney said, her husband Sydney said, they weren't going for that, okay? But Vlad says, you know, this is, a, um, his interviews cost a lot of money. He pays people a lot of money, thousands of dollars to come on his show. Why wouldn't he have them sign a release? But he made an exception to this rule. So let's hear Vlad's take on it first, and then let's hear Sydney and Monique's take on it, okay? So here we go. I'm sharing fair use for entertainment, educational, and news commentary purposes only, and it's not intended to harm. You didn't make my neutral opinion about this, okay? <laughs> anyway, um, here we go, guys. So let me turn this down a little so you can hear. Let's hear what Vlad is saying on this topic that Monique and Sydney is not cool with, okay? Um, we're just gonna hear both of their opinions and, and we're gonna keep it moving, okay? So here we go. Vlad is on, on his show talking, and you can catch this on YouTube too. He's talking to uh, Michael Blackston, another comedian, okay, regarding Monique and Sydney. Problem. Don't, don't worry about it. We got you. Okay. I'm like, okay, I don't usually do this, but this right. is from Vlad's we do a whole DJ Vlad's own YouTube channel. We go into her whole backstory about, you know, the abuse from her old 
family. We talked about the whole Netflix situation. We even talked about her husband's gay rumors with him standing right there. Okay. Oh, wow. Right. You know, they have I'm just saying, see, he's, he's, like, he's so talking about this stuff. He's giving his opinion about women. this. <laughs> you know, I just kind of like jokingly brought that up, but he, he jokingly addressed it. And I thought it was a great interview, a great life story piece, everything else like this. Why Weeks even go on his channel? To get back to me, they have, they have if you know this guy him. is doing all of this. Their lawyer, on behalf of her husband, gets back to me with MCC and said, we're not going to sign your release form. Here's a new release form on where we own the footage and we'll let you use it for you. And when I said, I'm not going to sign this, this was not the agreement. Imagine doing a movie <laughs> and right before and after you're done, you say, okay, you know something? I need to own this. Is that why you made me sign a release before I started? I make everyone sign a release before. Why are you doing it with them? I decided to make an exception. Listen to what he's saying now. Listen. And I said, well, I seen you on The Breakfast Club. I seen you on Sway in the Morning. I seen you on this show, on this show. Do you own their footage? No answer. And I checked all those people. She doesn't own any of their footage. They own their own footage. But with me... Now, Vlad is a white guy, y'all, if y'all didn't know who Vlad is. Vlad is a white guy. He rarely comes on screen, but he's all so in the black culture. I called him a bitch and stuff like that. And I was like, that. at one point, I said, you know something? Mm. Fuck this bitch. See? You know what I'm saying? So I, I emailed him, and I said, you know something? I apologize for calling you a bitch. You know, let's try to work something yeah, out. How are you going to call somebody a bitch and then expect them to come on your like show? That. That's crazy. For everyone involved. And he gave me a long list of demands of what I had to do. <laughs> this is a mess. Mom. So fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Fuck you and that apology. And I'm going to keep talking about okay. the situation so, until I earn the money back that I spent oh, on Oh, did you hear that? Okay. Y'all okay. no, 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 hear that? You know, I mean, you He's going to continue to call y'all this until he gets his money back. Okay. So we heard that. Let's listen to Monique. And her husband. This is from your daily dopamine feed. Now, this is a short, okay? I think she's she's talking about her situation with her son. The bloggers gave her a hard time. So that's Sydney, her husband, talking. bloggers or social media they weren't dealing with opinions we were uh, listening to your son's point of view so according to your son those are facts that he was speaking of but this is a totally different scenario um Monique is always <laughs> gonna be always she's always battling it out with somebody is I'm just wondering are you taking accountability for any of this stuff that we're hearing in the social media, then you want to come and attack the people who are just sharing the news. But listen, I'm new to blogging. I'm learning a lot. So I, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just trying to stay neutral to the stuff. I'm just sharing the um, news commentary. But listen, anytime you're in the news, anytime you're a celebrity, people are listening, people are watching, people are always coming to nitpick on a lot of the stuff that we hear and what what you say and that's why we said like I know I said this on my last time I was doing a live I was saying um, Monique should just not be in 
on social media going back and forth with her son. I think that's the most mature way and, and um, to take accountability for your own actions is just to remove yourself from social media when it comes to talking about something as personal as your son. Now your son opinion or facts is his and not ours, it's his. So when they he came out and he put it on uh, social media, you responded and it started to get too messy because your husband is trying to get, he was giving his truth on it or his opinion on it. And guess what? Everybody started clapping back at him. So the thing is, if you don't want the stuff on there, just don't get on there. I'm learning that myself and I'm still, it, it depends on what the situation is. Sometimes, you know, you get on there and you have to express yourself but we're all grown people. We do what we want to do anyway. So whether it's a fact or an opinion, we're going to do what we want to do anyway. And this is the situation. Bloggers are going to blog. Celebrities are going to talk. And that's what it is. So anyway, um, yeah. So I just want to share that with you guys. Um, this is a mess. Um, Vlad is always, you know, interviewing black culture, black rappers, comedians, uh, actors. He's, he's always putting his, his you know, you know opinion in it too and, and and it can get and if you're paying for these people to come on your channel and then you're calling them bitches and all that kind of stuff come on now like you don't think they're gonna be going back and forth with you so and you know this is just a messy messy kind of thing so on that note i just want to share that information peace and blessings